Hello everybody, this is the Goofs and Fox coming at you with a match here in the buffed Rick Diaz. This is going to be a 600 cost match here using the level 3 variants, and we are on the special version of Military Base. Uh, real quick, while we're on the special maps, let me just say about Military Base, I do not like this map. I like this map in its original state, but in the special version, um, no. So, <laughs> um, that out of the way, let's take a look at the Rick Diaz here. So again, this suit got buffed during the recent unit adjustments, and it got some very interesting stuff going for it, so it was definitely one of the ones that I wanted to cover. The other one I'm probably going to try and prioritize will most likely be the, um the Gallball the Alpha High Mobility type if I get around to getting a match with that. But for now, the Rick Diaz, I uh, should mention to you, it is a 5, fi not 550, but 500 to 600 cost general. Uh, actually, I don't think this has a 650. Yeah, no, it only has a 500 to 600. And taking a look at the unit features here, the unit HP was increased from 17,000 to 18,500, upper levels also enhanced. The range attack boost was increased from 34 to 39, so a bit more range damage there. The unit skill anti-blast stabilizer level 1 has been given, and here's the big one here that I'm going to focus on for a bit. The unit skill pursuit range auxiliary program level 1 has been given. So if you're not familiar with that skill, it's the same skill that the mass production double zeta Gundam has, where if an enemy is toppled over, you do increased damage to them, or increased range damage, and I think it's like 15%. If I remember correctly, so yeah, if you fire any of your ranged weapons at a toppled enemy in the Rick Diaz here, you will do extra damage and it shows too. Just for um, some measurements I took in free practice, if we're looking at the regular RX-78-2 at 500 cost, here's what I found. The bazooka damage normally is 2,813. If you hit him while they're toppled, it is 3,234, and that is just some, and that's with the clay bazooka, just the regular one, and that is just some nasty added damage there, so very nice to see that skill there. And for the level 2 version, the unit skill, first output increase level 1 has been given, upper levels have also been enhanced. And our next buff here is only for one of the sub-weapons, that being the head-mounted Vulcan Felix, where the power is increased from 85 to 95, and stagger accumulation value is increased. So, uh, more damage and quicker stagger, so that is very nice there for the Rick Diaz. And that is everything I have here for the buffs, and again, the main thing here is definitely that Pursuit Range Ox program. Just having the ability to do more range damage against toppled enemies is very nice, especially with this suit, because I feel like the Rick Diaz has always been a suit that in the right hands could really do some decent damage. Uh, although the, um, the what we have here for, like, the stats might say otherwise, because uh, most things here show that the damage was actually lower compared to the average general. For example, at 500, it's native cost. The average general did 67,153 damage. This suit was only hitting 62,759, and for like just the other cost, like it just really went down from there. So I can see why they added this skill, just so again it can do some more range damage. And again, they did increase the range damage overall with this suit from the 34 to 39, so. That is, again, they definitely want you to try to get more, a bit more range damage in there. Which, yeah, makes sense, because you do have a lot of really nice range weapons on this suit. You have the Clay Bazooka, or you can use the Shrapnel Clay Bazooka, which I haven't tested yet, but I'm interested to see just how much damage that would do in comparison, versus, like, the regular Clay Bazooka, because the Shrapnel can carry some damage, especially if you know how to hit your shots, so... That's probably be another thing that'd be worth testing in free practice one day. And 
You also have the Vulcans, which again also got buffed, so some extra Vulcan damage if you really don't have any of your other weapons ready. And then you got the Beam Pistols, which you saw me use earlier against the Full Armor Gundam Type B that was knocked over. I crouched down and hit him with the Beam Guns just to try to maximize my damage potential, so... Yeah, you definitely have a bit more you can do with that, and again, I think it's really just nice, because the Vic DS is a suit I covered quite a while, like, back, and I was, like, asking, well, is this suit still viable? Because I remember when the Vic DS first released, it was a pretty decent suit from what I can remember. I didn't have it when it released, but... I saw a lot of people doing well with it, so in my mind I could only assume, hey, this suit actually seems like it's pretty good. Uh, if I actually, if I'm not even, like, if I remember correctly, this might have been the first Zeta suit? I actually don't remember if this was our first introduction to getting Zeta in the game, so that would be actually very interesting if that was the case. Yeah, I think it was actually the first Zeta suit, so... There might be a bit of a story behind that one there, but yeah, I think overall the buffs are really nice. Again, just the Ox program, doing that more range damage to anything that is knocked over, just very nice. I am definitely need to try this with the Shrapnel Bazooka one day, just to really see, again, just how much damage is this thing capable of doing, because, yeah, yeah, really, it's just, at that point, it's just really trying to downswing somebody, and try to get the damage off if you can. Probably the beam pistols would probably be the better alternative to use because um, I don't remember how long it takes the clay bazooka to actually ready up, so I don't know if you'd be able to get it in time if you wanted to go to downswing in the bazooka. I think you can, but I'm not completely certain, so I don't want to really say yet if that is the case, but if you can, actually no, yeah, you can, because I used it against the Gundam in free practice, so yeah, I think you can get the bazooka off of that damage, so kind of changes up the combos you can kind of do there. And hey, gonna get a combo, not a combo, but a count on this chest real quick. But yeah, kind of mixes up exactly the combos you can use with this suit, which is very nice. And yeah, again, just overall, very nice buff to this suit. Definitely want to cover the Gall Ball, the Alpha Hymo, because that got the Melee Ox program skill, which is basically like the range one, except, well, it's for the melee weapon. And if you know about the Alpha Hymo, it has that Gian um, downswing in. Uh, just the biggest a bit of spoilers, yeah, in free practice, when I tested it against supports, um, yeah, over 9,000 to a gun cannon. So, <laughs> yeah, that thing's going to be doing some nasty damage I can predict when I finally get around to testing it, so can't wait to get to that one, but hey, timeout mission over, good work's going around, and let's see how we did here with the buffed Rick Diaz, mission completed, and did get top in individual score here, we also had an all general team, first place overall with 7 kills and 2 loss, not too shabby there, and that is going to do it for this match here in the Rick DS. And, yeah, final thoughts, pretty good buff. So, hopefully we kind of see, like, the aux skills get added to a few more suits, because I do think there might be some where they would just be very interesting to have, like the range one and the melee version. So hopefully, maybe we see more of this skill in the future and, like, more unit adjustments. Again, it'd be very interesting, but... That's going to be the end of this video here. Uh, comment down below what you think about the buffed Rick Diaz. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Later.